All right, if you're lucky enough like me, the main water line between the house and the water meter is this wonderful plastic made by Vanguard Plastic Service. It's now been outlawed because every place you research says that this is defective material. Some say the chlorine is eating it up and so on, and I see it's in perfect condition. Mine decided to spring a leak after some 25 years, and the reason is the builder installed it incorrectly. They made a this uh, it was this way actually, and it came off the water meter this way into a trench when they were burying the trench with their 10,000 pound backhoe. They bent the tubing down, putting a crease in it, which stressed the top, which eventually had a hairline crack and started spraying water everywhere. So now you go out and you find somebody and they're all going to tell you that this is terrible stuff, everything's failing, and they want to charge you some $2,000 to $4,000 to redo your plumbing with copper outside. So um, I had no choice to do it. I don't want to be back with this again. So. Um, now you're stuck until they come and your house is without water so what I want to show is a little trick what I did to get service back to the house until they can come out to do the construction. Water meter is here and my particular one is a one inch NPT female. So what you do is you can go to Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, a bunch of places, and you can get a reducer. There's a little guy here which has got a nut on it, and this is the thread, so that's one inch. And inside here is a three-quarter inch NPT. Screw that in there. You can get um, brass, which is what I did, just a little, the shortest extension you can with threads on both ends. Thread that in there, get a 90, three quarter 90. And the nice thing about this is when you're done, you can return all this stuff and get your money back. So you get a 90, and then you get a female hose bib. I don't even know how to draft that, but. Um, I guess it goes that way and the knob is sitting here and you get your threads there and this is female and you screw that on there. Now also they sell uh, at Home Depot it's a female to female hose uh, adapter. I guess I can draw it sort of like that. Beep, beep, beep. So you screw this on here and then you screw the other end of your hose on there and then at the house you have the same thing um, with the knob goes into your house here someplace and you'll have a valve going out to the street this is what used to connect this is the bad line so you shut your valve off here so the water doesn't go back down that line and you hook your hose between here and here and you turn everything on and you have water now in your house. So um, you need a really good hose. I've got a pretty heavy duty one that can easily handle the pressure. My street is high for some reason. It's 125 PSI at the regular at that. So the hose can handle that no problem and I've got plenty of water for dishes and cooking and washing and stuff like that because this then goes through your house and you'll even have water in your backyard hose bib. So this is what I did to get out of this dilemma and this is Wednesday and they'll be here Monday to start trenching and put in copper to replace this plastic stuff. So what it's actually called is polybutylene P-O-L-Y B-U-T-Y-L-E-N-E. -E. So you can research that plastic or the Vanguard Plastic Service line on Google. 
Vanguard still does plastics, but not this pipe. They now do plastic dishes and containers for food. So that's what happened to me. Just wanted to share that with everybody.